week, we talked about it earlier, we said uh, the question of the week, or the day rather, is Baker Mayfield still your franchise quarterback? All right, so what did we get? We got Ted Moon says, you bet, all time perhaps, but that has to be proven better than the alternatives in last year's draft. I'm not a bandwagoner. I believe in our GM, our quarterback, even the coach, ultimately. All this fair-weatheredness is really hard to uh, read. The best fans in the NFL, that seems uh, that needs to be reproven, in my opinion, also. Dave Shoup says, the rule is when we lose a game, the coach, quarterback, and all of the players are garbage. The media and the fans have all the answers, and anyone related to the team is clueless. It's Groundhog Day NFL style. Well, is Any he trying idea to say he, he doesn't think he doesn't like your question very much? Is that I what think that's saying? correct. Okay. Wayne Richard Lyons says yes, and how about now working on uh, uh, free agency and draft a franchise offensive line? Browns better be concerned how long Mayfield lasts this season as the hits continue to mount and mount. Frank Marino says Baker has uh, yet to prove that he's a franchise quarterback. He has the potential to be that guy if provided an offensive line in front of him. Rick May says, yes, there's nobody else on the sideline to convince me otherwise. An effective offensive line would go a long way, making him that franchise quarterback. Dennis Davis says, yes, yes, yes. Avoid the noise. I still think we'll finish 9-7. and seven. Ed Arlen says, no, he never was the franchise quarterback. Glenn Berger says, yes, he is. He's just uh, about starting a full season of NFL games. Give him time to, to learn, give him a good offensive line, and he'll be a good NFL franchise quarterback. Jay Slagle says, fingers crossed, I hope so. Now, hey, listen, a month ago, two months ago, we didn't have that doubt. No, and then the season began. Yeah. So, I mean, listen, I get the point that, you know, it's a roller coaster, guy looks good one week, looks bad the next week, or a team does, and you base a lot of your decisions on that. But this, we're talking about from what you've seen since he walked in the door, and part of that is these five games now. Right. That's the question. It, it has, has these five games shaken anyone's confidence that he's still the guy? It hasn't shaken mine. No, mine either. neither. And but that doesn't mean he's playing well. So. No, he's not. But I think we need to see him through the whole season, Guy getting almost getting through the tough part of it. It gets easier. And again, if we have this question after week 12 or 13, that's a different story. Yeah, I guess, was it Ernie, of course, he you know, often said that his – uh, measure of franchise quarterbacks and great quarterbacks is can they bring you back in the fourth quarter to win a game that you need right. to win? And well, frankly, he hasn't been involved in enough of no. those games yet for us to know. Here, here's the other thing. I've had several people. When, when things go bad, people come out of the woodwork with strange questions. And I, I've had a couple in the last couple of days asking if uh, My Miles Garrett is totally overrated and useless hmm. and a terrible draft pick. Now, who would have thought that? Yeah. Do, you, do you think that in any way? No, no, no. I think he's seeing, you know, he's seeing a lot of double teaming right now. I think his first three games were were, were very strong. I mean, how many sacks does he have this year? He's got uh, five, six, I think. five or six. Um, if he finishes the year with a sack a game, sixteen, that's a that's an All Pro season, and I still think he was the right pick at the right time for them, I, as opposed to that was the draft I believe that Trubisky was in. Uh, right, and yeah. part of the part of the building wanted Trubisky, and the other part, the coaches more wanted to go Miles Garrett, and I think they made the right decision. Do you think that was a split decision when they took Baker, or do you think they're just saying that they were all together on it? No, I think they were together on it. I think that, you know, maybe going into the process, they they thought that maybe Darnold was a guy right. that you know then size. They, then they saw more of him. And the more they saw of Baker, I think the more they became convinced. But I don't think it ever went back and forth as it did in some fans' mind, like Saquon Barkley right. versus Baker. Ver you know, They knew they were taking a quarterback, and they had it down to like and, one or two guys. And Saquon has proven what most people think about running backs, and that is they get hurt. Yeah, and he's a great player. Yeah. I mean, no, no one would question that. With the right that. team. Yeah. He, um, but I just, I never understood that. I uh, I was not in favor of, of them even thinking about taking a, a running back in the top five that year. Like, had they taken Mayfield one and Barkley was there at four, or was it four? I still wouldn't have taken them. I think they did the right thing. They took a, co a quarterback, a corner, and then they got their running back in the sec in late first round or second round? Early second round, second. Nick Chubb? Yeah. So and I think that's the way you should probably try to do it. All right, their cornerbacks, by the way, practice today, so that's good news if, if they don't blow out their hamstring on game day. Yeah, I mean, it's going to help to have that the, from a depth standpoint, certainly. And Denzel Ward, we know, had a pretty good year last year. 
But those two guys that have filled in for those guys were starters last year. So I don't think that they're two and three because Denzel Ward and, and Greedy Williams have been out. So would you, who would you play? Well, I, I don't know. Why, it's hard to say without seeing these guys move on the field. But I would think that you're going to start the same. Whether these guys are active for this game or not, you're going to start the same, same guys, guys you've been starting. And then you have a bye. And then you can come off the bye and with these guys being fully healthy now with two more weeks. And you're going to need them against uh, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. This sure. portion of More Sports and Les Levine brought to you by North